Okay, so Braxton and I did a thing. Last week, we went shopping at Lowe's without our kids. Um, and we bought a new fridge. So, we have no fridge right now. Um, it's coming tomorrow. They said they're going to be here between 8 a.m. and noon. So, we were like, well, let's get this dealt with. So, we turned our fridge in here into an overflow fridge. And what we're going to do, thank you. Yeah, it's 10 pounds. Um, I think it's 10 pounds. Yeah, it's 10 pounds of chicken wings. So what we did was is we took everything out of the fridge and the freezer. Took all the shells. Basically took everything that added weight to it because because of coronavirus. They're delivering it to our house, but they will not come into our house. They will deliver it like onto our front porch and we're going to be responsible for getting it in the house. Therefore, they won't move our old fridge for us. So we had to do that today. So we spent like an, it took us like an hour and a half. We had to take the doors off to get it through this doorway. Um, I'm gonna flip around and show you what we had to do. So the fridge right here, Caleb, Caleb, to hide, So we have this walkway here and excuse the mess because like I said, we're still doing this. So this is a very narrow, entryway and like we like just got it through here so we put the fridge in our coat room here and um it's still I don't want to open that but I basically shoved everything back in there and so this is everything that I still have from once a month shopping there's just not enough room we were worried that we were overworking it so we moved it into there so that we would have an overflow fridge. Let me flip back around. So we did all that. We didn't argue. Usually when we do stuff like that, we at least get into one tiff, but we didn't, it was easy. Um, um, we did have a incident with our water line where we, um, we didn't shut it off. We're just, we're kids. We're learning these things as we go. Um, he ran downstairs and it was shooting water in the basement and he got it shut off and all that good stuff. I didn't care that that was playing. Um, so now our, um, our sliding glass door there, that is where we're going to bring the fridge in because our fridge will not fit through that, that little spot that I showed you over there. So this house is weird. We have five sets of sliding glass doors. We have one front door that nobody ever uses and that's why we put it there is because it wasn't really going to impact and Braxton was like look we've got to live here. We need to make it functional. People can just deal with it. So that's why we did that. And can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got that set up all the foods put back and I'll film more tomorrow when the new fridge gets here I'm super excited it's stainless steel it's kind of like our first step into renovating this kitchen because this kitchen needs a good renovating but step by step we're gonna do it slowly not going to debt over it so see you tomorrow there it is. I just hope I have the right tool to take off the door. You should. There it is. This is our no, our no contact delivery. They <laughs> just pulled up, put it on the dolly and dropped it here. And Braxton's gonna take the door stopper things off because this is the only way this bad boy's getting in the house. And hopefully, Hopefully it works. I don't know. It's on a pallet. We'll see. Okay, so we figured out that if we just take the handles off, because we took our slider off so that we would have more room here, and if we just take the handles off, we should be able to get it through here without taking the doors off. We thought we were going to have to take the doors off because we had to do that to get the old fridge from there to there. Excuse my desk, please. It's on my to-do list. Um, 
So, he is working on getting an Allen wrench so that we can get those handles off because it's a weird size Allen wrench and they don't give it to you. So, ugh. it shouldn't take long once we do that. So, a lot of people um, that I know, they're like going crazy with being quarantined. If we didn't have this, like, that's our woods back there. We've got 4.7 something acres here. We've got like what? two acres that's maintained. Say good morning. Good morning. Um, so we've got all these woods and we've got all this yard and our trampoline so our kids are able to go outside every day and just run the energy off like I mean I could probably have them lap the house and the property a couple times and they would probably run a mile Hi, did you find it Allen wrench success we're gonna title this who buys a fridge during a quarantine your crazy wife see look how easy that was so funny story you see these marks they like dropped it on the on the deck here and Braxton and I were like looking at each other like did they really just leave us a fridge with these marks and he's like go get a magic eraser and just do it that way so I as you can see here I cleaned it with a magic eraser and then we realized that there's stinking plastic on it so interesting turn of events you know what I could do is just cut this, this is off. bolted in. Yeah, you could just cut it off, but just cut it right there, Amanda. I'll cut it right there. Well, but we still got to get this off. No, we don't, baby. I don't want that in the kitchen. I want it to be on at the least, wheels. Hey, at least let's get it inside, and then I'll take it off. Okay. Why? Because I don't want to damage these things on the way in. Okay. But, but know, we've got to lay it back down like this. Dude, you know what? I think we just figured out the best way to, you know. So yesterday I told you we always have at least one tiff when we do these things. And here's the tiff. So why, why, we're going to have to lay it down like this. As soon as we bring it in the house, we're going to have to lay it down again. So that we can get the bolts off. Which is easy. So are you saying that you want to carry this in like this? Ah, that's a good point yes i know <laughs> that wasn't pride or anything <laughs> the jigsaw so that's how you could have cut that piece of the cabinet that counter off last night when you were like oh are we gonna do that i don't understand hon. that is a different that's a different situation so so explain what you're gonna do i'm just gonna cut it right there and then we're gonna carry it in on its side like this through the door and then we're going to set it down on the kitchen floor yeah because this unbolt gives you it something, this gives you something to carry it by right so then we're going to lay it on its side That's and then good. unbolt it in the kitchen is what we're going to do yeah and then we'll stand it up again I just want to say that these people, I understand they wanted to do contactless delivery. I'm good for it. I, I agreed to it, but they could have at least took it off this thing. But Romans 828 worked out for the good because now Braxton has something that his wife can hold on while we, but wait, or no. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine because we're going to go sideways. So this is, this isn't even going to affect it. I like, it I, like um, I like it too. You got it for me. Okay. All right. Go get the jigsaw. Let's do it. Shut down the video. <laughs> now let's just hope it works. <laughs> let's cut the fridge. Don't say that. Why did you have to say that as soon as you did that? <laughs> <laughs> why do we need to do you need me to kind of like lift it up so that you can cut through it so you don't cut the deck should i do that like lean it kind of on backwards on its side yeah okay let me turn this off all right it's inside we made we made it inside 
No, I don't see nothing. So after Braxton gets these bolts out, which these did come in handy, lifting it up and down. Um, once we get these off, we're gonna stand it up and then we'll roll it into the spot, hook the water line up, but we got it in. We ended up having to stand it up again. We didn't carry it on its side. It was just too heavy. So we stood it up here and we leaned it in side to lay it on its side again is what we ended up having to do. There might be, but it fit. That was the most thing that we were worried about was that if, because this house is just weird. The just, yeah, it's just weird. There's like a, there's like a janky thing here where they cut part of the counter and that makes it, give it enough room back there so it doesn't get the line and the, it just, this house, we got a really good deal on it. We love the house. We love the bones of the house, but a lot of the things that have been done to this house have been done with corners cut and stuff. So we just, we have things that we need to fix as we renovate the house and that's one of them. And so we realized that when we were pushing it in, they took texture off the wall um, to not scrape it but it still scraped it, but it's on the side. There's a wall blocking it. It's just, it is what it is. It's there, we're thankful. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, the, the side that it scraped, it isn't this side, it's that side. And we have a wall here that has our electrical on it because our first thought is, well, let's just rip that wall out. We don't need that wall out, but our all of our electrical controls for the kitchen lights are there. It's just, it's a wonky house, but it's here. He's still got to put the... My worry was that it was, we were going to get it in here, do all this work, and it wasn't going to turn on, but it turned on. He's got to put the handles back on it. But here it is. Glory of glories. Okay, fridge. Handles. So exciting. So, so, so exciting. Okay. I've got all the, we'll wrap this up with this. So three drawers on each side. This is what I really wanted is I wanted this, this drawer. And then we've got the two crisper drawers, more shelves. Um, and then the pull out freezer, which that's already cold. So, okay, just to wrap things up, super happy. It's the fridge I've wanted for a long time. We had a new fridge at our old house, but um, we didn't get to pick it. Um, it was there when we moved in. And so, I'm super excited. So now I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna put over here, obviously condiments and stuff, um, and what I'm gonna keep in that other fridge. Um, so yeah, that was the fridge journey. It's here. Hoo hoo, I'm super, the things you get excited about as a grown up. But I need to go pump. We need to eat food because it's 11.45 and this came at like 9.30, right when I was supposed to be making breakfast. So we didn't have breakfast. The kids ate Z bars and Braxton's gonna go to the hardware store to get a new a thing for our water line because we don't have a fitting for it. It's I don't know. It is what it is. So thanks for watching. Um hope you enjoyed the adventure. Hopefully it was fun for you because it was fun for me. So um don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to smash the like button, you know. That's what we like to we like to joke around oh about. God, the light came up. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that flicked on. Like I said, wonky house. So have a great day, guys.